The Best Part of Me, Children Talk About Their Bodies in Pictures and Words by Wendy Ewald. This is a book done by a classroom of students, and I'm going to read to you some of the excerpts from this book written by students who helped to publish it. My eyes are brown and black, big and round. I see lots of colors around. I see me, I see you. I like my eyes, I should not be surprised. I see your eyes, I see my eyes. I know my eyes can see within me. Without eyes, you couldn't see, not one tree you couldn't see, not one eye you couldn't buy. The eye is good, the eye is mad. When you are mad, it can seem very sad. By Denye Elliott. My hair. I like my hair. It's long, black, and wavy. If you look real close, you can see red streaks. It comes from my Mexican heritage. It's wavy, like the ocean. By Camilla Villasana. My hands. I like my hands because they turn the pages of a book slowly and magically. Reading makes me happy. They wipe my eyes when I'm sad. They threaten the things that make me mad. They pull the covers over my head when I am scared. They feel my forehead when I am sick. They write what I am writing now. They touch the precious earth and ground. They dance, they act, they're slender and unique. They're mine, that's all, slender and unique. Colette Cosner. My Wonderful Legs by Andrew Leggy. Legs, legs, you carry me a long way. You hold me up when I am out to play. Legs, legs, you're so strong so that I am able to run very long. You get very tired when I rollerblade, but you still go on. That's how strong you are made. You don't get hurt very easily. I just hate when people call you measly. My neck. I love my neck. My neck holds the beautiful necklaces I wear. I love my neck because it is not too big or not too small. It is just right for me. I love my neck for all the things it can do. It connects to my lovely face and to my strong body. It holds my head. I like my neck. That is why it's the best part of me by Lydia Johnson.